guys, it's Liz here with another video for you. And today I'm gonna to show you how I did this design in this Manny. Um, now I decided to use three different colors for this time and change up the design a little bit. Um, I am using all sparkle infusion colors and I am using two glitters, but one of the glitters does have a background color to it. Um, so they worked out just fine. So I use these vinyl guides a lot for my color blocking. You can get them for pretty cheap off of Amazon and they work really well. I don't ever really like to do the same design twice. I always like to kind of change it up a little bit. So for this one, I decided to do my middle nail with the kind of um, color blocked swirl and then half of my pointer and ring finger, just full color and then half of it with the color block sections. I think the hardest part of color blocking is just making sure that your lines are lined up straight. But once you have your guides set up the way that you want them to, then the rest of it is pretty, pretty easy once you get the hang of it. So I kind of forgot which guides I used for the swirl, but these are the guides um, and the other designs that it comes with. Um, it comes with a lot of different patterns, so it's definitely worth it. You can do so many different things with these guides, um, but I did realize uh, or remember that these are the ones that I used and I just used half of them. Just I just wanted to, it to have just a little bit of a curve to kind of give it that swirl look to it. and I'm not really sure that it comes off as well as I would have liked it to um, but yeah so this is a, a kind of how I did that and I do um, I did go ahead and speed up this video because it is a um, it was it took me a lot longer I did not realize by cutting down the amount of colors that I used and then I made the sections so much smaller. It made so much more work on me. So I ended up this Manny just for one hand took me um, over two hours to, to do this. Um, so I didn't realize I was making so much more work for myself when I decided that this is what I wanted to do. But um, yeah, I definitely um, suggest kind of paring this down or doing bigger sections, um, not doing as small as sections as I did. So I am gonna leave the rest of this video in here just in case you want to watch me work. Um, but this is pretty much it. The rest of it is just my normal color blocking, all my tips and tricks. I do use this cleaning tool to kind of clean up as I go to make sure that my lines stay neat. Um, you can also use a nail file. I didn't really have to do it a whole lot with this one, most of, most of it. Um, I just used uh, or that, that little punctured tool and I just got that at the Dollar Tree. Um, you can find those at the Dollar Tree in a two packs. Um, they come in really handy or you can use a needle clay tool. You can find those on Amazon and they work really well for cleaning up and doing stuff like this. That um, metal point really helps and having a handle like that really helps when you're working at on small details like this. And another thing that I do is after that second dip, I go ahead and pull off my guides and that way I can kind of clean up while it is still wet using that dotting tool or that puncture tool. Um, so yeah, um, I will kind of drop in and um, say anything else if I feel like I need, um, if there's anything else that I need to add. But that's pretty much it for the most part. Like I said, I'm going to leave the rest of this in just in case you want to watch me work. Um, make sure that you give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I hope to see you next time.
you're still watching um, there is another thing that I decided I need to add so right here you'll see that I dipped with the purple and had a hard time kind of scraping it off because that glitter just catches everything um, so I did discover that doing a layer of or a dip of clear over the glitter before you take off that guide is very helpful in helping with the cleanup process as you go. So um, that was another added step that I had to add that took a little bit longer, but it was worth it because it made for a lot cleaner look in the end. So I also, you could probably use a piece of tape, maybe like a piece of masking tape um, to help with that. Um, and it may not take as long as the extra dip of clear, um, but you just want to make sure that your dip that you're putting on is dry enough so that whenever you take the tape off, you're not going to rip off part of your design as well.
So we are finally at the last dip. And for the last one, I don't mask anything off. I just kind of try to get it as close to um, this spot in there that I can. Um, just put a little dot and then kind of move it around with either a toothpick or I use my little puncture tool just to move it around into that spot. And then I clean up with the puncture tool as well. Then you want to give, make sure that you give at least one more dip of clear for everything to make sure that you don't file off all of that work that you just did. Since I was adding clear to the glitter as I went, I went ahead and just put one dip of clear over everything. Um, but if you skipped that step or were using solid colors and didn't need to do that step, then you might want to put two dips of clear over everything. Then you're just going to activate, file and buff as usual. I filed and buffed off camera because I was so tired after this. I filed on the couch with my dust collector and my neck was sore for two days after I did this, but hopefully it was worth it. Hopefully you enjoyed this Manny and this video. If you did, make sure that you give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.